hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ulori Lara and in today's video I'd like to be sharing with us another kind of business that we can do and um, this one is actually uh, all these uh, ready-made on this and when we're talking about on this on these are actually everything that we wear underneath our clothes like bra like singlet either for ladies or for men like in um, pants either for adult or for children like in um, boxers and a whole lot of things that we wear underneath our clothes there's still another one that they call bum bum ladies normally wear this kind of thing to give their boots a, a kind of beautiful shape okay this underwear that i'm talking about is actually a very lucrative business and it's something that anyone can start and it's something we can start with a very low capital, as in as low as 20,000 Naira. You can start this kind of business. If it's something that I don't know about, I will not talk about it. It's a kind of business that I've done even as a very young lady or young girl. In fact, in those days when I sell this kind of undies in my area, in my house, to my neighbors in the street, they used to imagine where I used to get my own this from because the same price they will buy in the market is the same price I will sell to them. And reason behind this is because I go to the main place where they sell this on this, where all those people that are selling also go to buy. That's where I go to buy. So I sell the same price that they sell in the market. So there's no how that people will not buy this kind of, especially when they see that it's the same price that they buy in the market. Even as after spending transport fare, that I'll still sell for them. So, I is is a kind of business that sells so fast, especially when you are selling anything related to children. There are some mothers that they cannot just do without buying stuffs for for their children. Even when it means little money with them to eat, they would rather use it to buy something for their children than to spend it on something else. So it's something that you can start with as low as twenty thousand naira. I will, I will want to encourage anyone that wants to go into this kind of business that if you want to start, just start with children items like their panties, like um, uh, singlets, both for boys and girls, uh, like boxers, and everything for children. And um, with time, you will see people demanding for other things. Then you can then try to bring any other thing that they are demanding for. It's a very good business that you can see a mother buying one dozen of pants for a, a single child. Imagine when a mother that has like three or four children buying do one dozen or half dozen for a child. Imagine the quantity that that kind of mother will buy for all her children. So this is the kind of thing that makes these um, children's stuff to sell faster. Unlike when, when a lady is buying for herself, just buy a few things and forget about it. So, and you know that adults know how to use um, uh, their things longer, as in they know how to maintain their things, unlike children that just use things anyhow. So, this is the reason why, why demand for children items are, are always high. So, it's a kind of business that anybody can do. And it's self fast that you, you sell, you make your money, you go back to the market, and before you know it, you become a giant in the business. So, for anyone that wants to do this kind of business, it's something that you can get uh, at Lagos Island. As an Edumota market, especially for people that live in Lagos. I know that if you live in other states too, it's something you can get in any market closer to you. But it's a kind of encouragement to our women. Instead of not doing anything at all, and for as many women that want to look for big money, that they want to look for big money before they can start business. This is actually a kind of business that you can start with little amounts. Even if you want to work, if you want to go for, maybe you want to go for and to do a sales girl work, you want to do any kind of work that will fetch, just do this one for a little time just to gather the money. I want to gather like 50,000 or more. My dear sister, you are just good to go. You are good to go in this business. And unlike in those days where there, there is just a little or a little channel where you can sell your items, like taking it to show people, 
like these days we have different means of advertising our, our, our goods different means of selling our products you can advertise online you can show your friends in the in the, in the same house you can show your neighbors in the house your your neighbors on the same street you can show your colleagues in the office you can sell you can advertise on any social media handles so there are a lot of ways in which we can sell all, all this kind of thing they sell faster they bring in back the money on time like even the okrika panties so faster too like i have a friend she will always tell you that okrika pants sell faster than clothes if you think you are selling clothes and you are selling just try the okrika pants and see the way you are going to sell i will not deceive you there was a particular day because I sell, I sell okrika and I sell in bills. But one, once in a while, I would just decide to open a bill by myself. So there's this particular day that I opened the okrika panties and and I, I, I've opened it, I've sold. But this particular day, it was just in the evening. I was just, I was just restless. Like oh, I want to go out. I just feel like going on. And I said, okay, let me just carry this thing out to my bus stop and sell. In fact, it was around six o'clock in the evening that even my husband was like. Ah, uh, around four o'clock in the evening and it was on a sunday that like, is it this time that you want to go and i said let me just i just feel like going let me just take this thing within two hours between four and six i'll come back even if i don't sell anything i'll come back and i went around that four o'clock i came back six o'clock and you will not believe that within that two hours i sold forty thousand naira worth of panties <coughs> excuse me please so i sold forty thousand naira. that and you know when you are selling, you will not be able to count the money. You just be packing the money in your purse. Immediately I got home around six o'clock, and I was counting. My husband was like, "Do you go with this cash?" I said, "No, I didn't go with this. This is actually what I sold." Within two hours, I was able to sell forty thousand naira. And the same way you sell the new ones is also the same way that you can sell the new ones, especially during the period that. Children are on holidays and they want maybe they want to resume school. You see the way mother will be buying stuffs like singlets, like panties for their children so that they can get something to use when they resume school. So it's actually something that anybody can sell, especially ladies. If you work in an office, go to the market, buy all these link rings, buy the bra, buy fancy ones, beautiful ones. They are so cheap that like like when there's a bra that i saw the man saw the bra three three pieces of the bra for three thousand five hundred naira these are actually a kind of bra that when they bring it to you if they sell it for two thousand naira for one you will quickly buy it it was so beautiful so if you want to do this kind of business you are in lagos you are in, you are around lagos anywhere you are in lagos just go to do water i even i, I even have contacts or people that you can meet there that sell this thing and once you just locate one is an is an yeah yeah is a what, what how do i call it is a complex it's a plaza so even this particular place that i will give you uh, his, uh, his, uh, his number by the time you get to his shop you see that you see the plaza you see everywhere you might not even buy from there you'll be able to locate every other places where they sell this kind of thing so why wasting time? It is a kind of thing that you can even make as a side hustle. Even if you work in an office, if you have money, if, instead of just keeping money in your account that is not even yielding anything, instead of it yielding, the bank will even be deducting charges, monthly charges, monthly alerts, account maintenance, and the rest of them. It's a thing that you can just take part of the money to market, buy all this kind of fancy on this, take them to your office. Buy BYC shirts for men and show it to your colleagues in the office. Advertise online. Buy all these uh, fancy pants for ladies. Advertise on them online and see the way people will be demanding for them. So it's also a, a, an encouragement for our ladies. It's an encouragement. At times I see some, some ladies, they are not doing anything. They are not any money, and it, and it's not even as if as if their husband is uh, 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 even giving them anything. Many are times when I go to work, when I'm going to work in the morning, I see some ladies. Their husband are, 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 are transporters. Probably the, the the men leave home in the morning before they wake up. You see them at the bus stop. They by that time, self 
You will see them, they, 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 they haven't even taken their bait or anything. You see them with their ear nets. You see them dressing in their nightwear. At times, they will even tie up and they will come and wait for the husband at the bus stop. They will be waiting and be watching until, until, uh, until, his, car, uh, until his bus or car or wherever passes. Some will come and wait for their husband. <coughs> Excuse me. The husband that is riding a uh, marwa or or um, 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 what's it called? Motorcycle or this? By um, is it motorcycle or what? They will come and wait for for the husband at the junction. Just come and collect the money. And once they collect this money, they will just go back home to go and eat. Once they eat, they feed their children. They are there in their house, morning to evening, every day by day. Even when occasion arises for a party, they still be looking for where to get money to buy a shabby and the rest of them. Look for something to do. Look for something to do. Even all these white scholar jobs that we're doing is not is not is not that guaranteed. Anything can happen at any time. Anything can happen at any time. But if you have a kind of side also that you are doing, when thing, when 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 the unplanned things happen, it will not really knock you down. It will not really knock you down. Look at the, that time of uh, uh, what was it called? Then the, during the period of COVID. A lot of people were a lot of company downsized. A lot of people, uh, company organization, laid their staff off. Some other organizations said even cut the staff salary. They did a uh, salary slash. If you want to stay, you stay. If you don't want to stay, you go. So if you are a kind of person that you are working and you still have your side also, at least if any, if anything happens, it will not really it will not really meet it will not as it's not for you. And another thing is that most times when you are working and you, are, you also are the kind of side also, it's also an advantage. Like I'm using myself as a case study. There was a time that um, I was working with a kind of boss that I just see him as too, being too harsh. I saw him as being too harsh. Something like that, Sha. Okay. And me, I was working, any salary. I so I also have my business that is giving me a kind of income. So most of the time, even when he's when he's being asked or get uh, when, when he gets angry over things and he's shouting at, at, at everybody, he, he used to give me my kind of respect because he knows that me, I don't give I, I don't give a damn. He knows that even if I'm being sad, I have somewhere that I can easily go. So most of the time. When he talks and I kind of, I'm not insubordinating, but at times I just want to view out my opinion too. So they just look at me that it's not your fault. It's because you, you have shop, you have someone. Some. So it gives you courage. It gives you, it gives you strength to, to, to out, to out your views when necessary, but when you don't have anything to fall back at, even, even when someone is at fault, for you to even say the truth, you will not be able because you don't want anything that will affect your job. So I encourage, I encourage us today, even with your work, even with your job, with with anything you are doing, there's no, there's nothing that stops you from having three, four, five streams of income. It's just, it's, it's a plus, it's an advantage. I encourage us today, do something, add different kind of side hustle. If this one is not bringing you money, another one will bring you money. If you have like five or six side hustles. If one is not fetching you money, another one will fetch you money. At that particular, if all of them cannot just be down at the same time. Yeah, I stopped today. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give a like, give a share, give a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you, and God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.